Hey everyone, this is Christian Heimel, host of Press Row. Thanks so much for listening to the following broadcast, courtesy of Public House Media. Hi, this is Emily. This is Lindsay. And this is Elizabeth. Co-hosts of Beauties and Headcanons here on Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you are done with this episode, we hope you'll come check out our show, Beauties and Headcanons, where we talk nerdy to you about fandoms, fan fiction, and all pop culture for nerds that you can think of. A new show comes out every Friday. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of Beauties and Headcanons. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Today's verse of the day comes from Acts 2.24. But God raised him from the dead, freeing him from the agony of death, because it was impossible for death to keep its hold on him. Good morning and welcome to the next edition of Verse of the Day, presented by Public House Media. I'm your host, Baxter Colburn. Happy Wednesday to you, friends. Another edition of Verse of the Day here for you. I'm thrilled that you're joining that program for today. A quick reminder for you, Verse of the Day is available for streaming anytime on Apple Podcasts and Spotify or wherever your favorite podcast platform may be. Whether it's on your phone, your computer, we've got you covered. A big thank you to Mana Vision Media for syndicating today's episode on Mana FM in Budapest, Hungary. If you've not checked out their station or their website, I highly advise you do so. Visit manafm.hu for more information. Let's embrace what God has to say today because we've got another guest speaker. That's right, folks. We've got another guest speaker joining the program again, as she has done very marvelously in the past, is my good friend Morgan Brill. And she's here today to give us some insightful words and wisdom about our verse of the day from Acts 2.24. Let's see what Morgan has in store for us today. Hey, it's Morgan Brill, and I am so thankful to be with you this day and be asked to be on the Verse of the Day podcast again. Today, I am coming to talk with you guys a little bit about Acts 2.24, and I'll read you from the NLT Acts 2.24. But God released him from the horrors of death and raised him back to life, for death could not keep him in its grip. This is a really, really big verse to unpack. So let's think about a little bit of the context, or let's go back to the readings. What is happening in Acts 2? Pentecost is what's happening in Acts 2. And Pentecost essentially means it was the moment that the Holy Spirit descended to the earth to be present and the first opportunity the disciples would have to share that the journey of Christ and that the mission of Jesus on this earth has come to fruition and the Holy Spirit is now living among us. And Peter, for the first time, one of the disciples is publicly preaching that Jesus died for our sins and that you can be forgiven if you just ask. Okay, so verse 2, 24 of Acts, but God released him from the horrors of death and raised him back to life for death could not keep him in its grip. So this first public proclamation and this proclamation that is the true foundation of the beliefs of Christianity is packed into this 12 word verse, little more than 12 words, but it's so powerful in that it gives us a clean start. This is what Easter is about this time of year, this month in which Jesus paid the ultimate price so that we can be washed clean and that our sinful nature and sin that whittles its way in to ourselves and our lives and our situations can be forgiven, can be avoided, can be overcome because of the power of the Holy Spirit coming to Peter and the disciples on this day of Pentecost and the act, the ultimate act that Jesus gave his life so that we can be made new 
means that we're allowed to live our lives and that we can live our lives knowing that we don't have to pay the same cost and that life gets better after this human life that we're living here on earth. We no longer have Satan's grip on us and Satan's grip means death or spending eternity in hell because Jesus paid the price for us. This verse offers us so much hope in that we can live into this on a daily basis, knowing that this verse, this mission, how we're living is what we should be spreading to others. And the word hope is really powerful. Hope hope is the foundation of positivity, of love, of leading a life that's different. As Christians, we walk a very different walk and that's showing a sinful world and getting our mind in the space that we can live in this sinful world. We don't have to worry about death and we can spread this word, the good news to those around us that they can live that way too. Our God is so good in that he sent his only son to die. Think about that. Take a second to pause. He sent his only son to die for us so that we could be here today knowing that Satan doesn't have a noose around our necks, right? He doesn't at all. In fact, that chain is so broken that we've been set free to live a life full of love and on fire for God. Translating things like this into other people's lives and helping them see the potential that this has for them and that they no longer have to worry about pain at the time of death, pain being eternity in hell. That's a really heavy verse. To unpack, but it is so wonderful. If we didn't have verses like this, if we didn't have content like this, we wouldn't have a foundation of belief of our belief system. God released him from the horrors of death and raised him back to life, for death could not keep him in its grip. And Peter preached this for the first time so the word could continue to come to us. So that we might be able to understand what has been done for us, how our lives have been forever impacted, and then go out and don't let it stop with us. We can't let this news stop with us, right? We're we're approaching the happiest time of year for Christians is when the ultimate price was paid. It's full of sorrow and suffering and pain. I can't even imagine what that would be like to be a martyr for your faith and to know that you were on this earth to die. But to go up on that cross and to serve the purpose of every other child of God being able to see the face of Christ in heaven when he comes again. To be able to fill the earth with the Holy Spirit that God's works can continuously be in us and given to others. And that we can live this life knowing that we have purpose and there is life after death. In my life, I can't imagine, especially being a nurse, we deal with death and dying a lot and it's so comforting. And for me, it's so much more of a spiritual experience to work through the pain of death with a family, knowing that if they're a Christian, life doesn't stop here. But the families that I work with that aren't Christian, life just ends. And even if they don't know about hell, Think about that. Think about just when you die without our belief system of Christianity. It's just 
done. There's nothing more. And we know as Christians that if you're not a Christian at the time of death, you will spend eternity in hell, right? If you've denied Christ. And that is so unsettling. So I'm very thankful that there are verses like this to remind me that at the time of death, it helps me cope, helping families cope, knowing that with their Christian faith, I can pray for comfort and know that the grip of death, the pain of death, the suffering, all of the worldly issues are now gone for that person and they are walking in the best space possible of heaven, all made possible by the ultimate sacrifice our Jesus made for us. So consider that today. Consider this time of year. Really be prayerful about who you can impact with this verse and who would most benefit from this reminder like we were reminded today. But God released him from the horrors of death and raised him back to life for death could not keep him in its grip. Acts 2, 24.